So guys, it's great to be back out on a really, really nice day. There's a little bit of cloud and a little bit of sun. It's really, really nice. Um, and I've just sat up here now, just watching um, a lot of gray squirrels, uh, the black variant squirrels and the red squirrels as well. Highly territorial here, um, chasing each other around, going to their food caches, safeguarding their food, chasing off other red squirrels, gray squirrels. Yeah, amazing, amazing to watch. Got some really, really nice footage of them, just um, little beams of sunlight coming down, just illuminating their eyes and their heads, the rest of the bodies in dark. It's really quite nice. Um, and I was really charmed earlier on, the, uh, the red-tailed hawk, which was um, hunting up high and then coming down low on a post. Um, and lovely to see that lovely rufous red tail, but uh, it's fantastic, really, really quiet. Save um, aircraft overhead but fantastic to be here, just lovely and chilled, um, sitting on an old tree stump, just watching uh, nature do its thing. But yeah, fantastic guys. I don't know if you can hear that behind, guys, um, on the mic. We've just seen a red-bellied woodpecker, which is my first, and it's a male because it's got the red all the way over, not just at the nape like the female, but it's all the way over the top of the crown of the head. Absolutely fantastic bird, beautiful. Managed to get a, a little bit of uh, footage there of the, of the of woodpecker. And we've just had um, either a downy or a hairy just land in behind here. Um, another lovely woodpecker species. So I've seen three since I've been here. I've seen the downy, the hairy, and now the red-bellied woodpecker. And there are lots more species here as well. But um, yeah, you can just hear it piping away there. Fantastic. <laughs> I think it's a, either downy or a hairy woodpecker excavating a hole in an old dead tree, um, hammering away there. It's obviously that time of year now, same as it is at home. Great spot of woodpeckers are out drumming in the woodlands in February. Absolutely fantastic and obviously into March. 
Um, so it's having a good old crack at that hole, having a little rest and then just resuming, but uh, fantastic to see it work. So guys, great, I've just stopped off this little coppice of um, trees just here. And we've got a hairy woodpecker in there and a downy woodpecker. I've just been filming a lovely, lovely male um, downy woodpecker just literally drumming away on the tree. We've got red-breasted nuthatch, we've got white-breasted nuthatch, we've got um, black-capped chickadees in there as well, all in this little copson area. And I've just seen, first ones I've seen this winter, two chipmunks out foraging so uh, really 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 nice to see so yeah little quiet in sort of first thing this morning but now things really are starting to pick up it is quite chilly actually but when that sun comes out it's absolutely lovely um, i'm going to get back to these woodpeckers absolutely gorgeous to watch tiny tiny little woodpecker um, probably a little bit bigger than our lesser at home but uh, yeah fantastic So guys, I've been scouting around the park now for a fair few hours. And just a quick tip really, you know, you go past an area like this, which at the moment seems pretty devoid of life. Um, I can't see anything moving in there. And you'd think, oh, I'll just quickly move on. Nothing there, that's it. But sometimes just stop, spend a little bit more time, just having a look, pair of binoculars, having a look through into the undergrowth there and you'll be amazed what stuff actually just appears. Sometimes a lot of birds and mammals will freeze, especially if they see any danger coming. So once they relax and they'll just resume feeding, 
Woodpeckers do it quite a lot. They just freeze on the branch. And certainly a lot of the uh, mammal species like um, some of the chipmunks, some of the squirrel species will do that freeze. Once they relax, they'll then continue to feed. But um, yeah, just one little bonus tip there guys really, is just to have a little look, scan, take your time, and then hopefully you'll get rewarded with some um, good views of some wildlife. So I've just come back to my little spot where I favoured the, uh, the Cooper's hawk and I saw it flying over the back um, going round. And now we've got two red-tailed hawks displaying up in the sky. Um, it's really, really warm today. I think this is apparently it's the warmest day in 86 years here in Canada. Um, and it really is quite mild. Um, I mean, I'm hot with the, with the beanie on, but um, yeah. So I'm hoping this Cooper hawk's gonna go and do a bit of a circuit, come round and land on its favourite um, ratty old dead tree. No guarantees mine, but uh, I've had some great fun this morning. It's great to see the red-bellied woodpecker. It's great to see the red-tailed hawk, especially when it was down low hunting. Um, great to see the squirrel activity as well with the red squirrels. Absolutely fantastic little things. Everything is very busy today. It almost feels like early spring. Um, but they say if you have a green Christmas here, you're going to have a white Easter. So who knows? We shall see. But uh, it really is quite warm. Um, but Leng, fingers crossed for that, uh, that Cooper's Hawk, it would be lovely to get a great shot of a full adult. And I've only actually got a shot of a juvenile so far, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed. So guys, absolutely magical. We have got, as you can see on the screen there, a beautiful Merlin. Coming back over to me, Cooper's Hawk post, and there's a diddy little Merlin on there. It's been on there for about 25 minutes, half hour now absolutely fantastic beautiful just facing into wind doing a little bit of head bobbing doing its thing looking around for potential prey but uh, magnificent in seven months this is the second time i've seen a merlin here and yeah absolutely fantastic um, beautiful birds i just they're so small so they're the smallest european falcon and there's three subspecies of the merlin here in north america and this is slightly larger than the American kestrel. American kestrel being the smallest falcon here in North America. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So we've currently got the, uh, the Merlin is watching loads of black capped chickadees below. There's about three or four of them calling away. And there's also a Northern Cardinal ticking away in there. And he's just like looking below, having a little um, peek to see if he can just dive down. Um, but it's really kind of thick in there. So it's probably not gonna, uh, not gonna go down amongst that stuff, but it's great just to watch a bit of behavior there. I'm constantly, constantly putting some video on here. I'm shooting at, um, ultra slow motion and I did it 4k 60 and 120 as well but the overheat warning is constantly coming up on the camera which is an absolute pain so I have to keep I want to get a flight lift shot as it's going left plenty of space to the left to the bird to launch itself and hopefully get a bit of ultra slow motion stuff but as I said this warning keeps um, kicking in and it keeps shutting off so absolute pain really is um, really restricts what you're doing which is which is a real pain
Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed um, that video today from one of my local green spaces. Um, it's been fantastic. I've been out about sort of six hours today, um, seen the red-tailed hawk, seen the Cooper's hawk, seen the Merlin, which was an absolute superb um, experience really. It was amazing watching it and I got some hopefully some half decent images um, and a bit of video as well. And also seeing the uh, red-tailed hawks displaying, um, lots of other bird species around. You know, it's been beautiful weather. It's been so warm today. It almost feels like an early spring day. Um, but yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, you know, it really has loved it. And it's just nice to go out your house with your rucksack on your back, tripod, off you go, spend the day out. You know, I had moments there when I didn't see anything for at least an hour, an hour and a half. And then suddenly, woof, everything comes out. Um, you know, it was fantastic. You know, with the squirrels as well this morning, um, red squirrels playing and defending territory, caching, uh, the woodpecker, the red-bellied woodpecker, um, the red-tailed hawk in the tree. I mean, it's been fantastic, guys, it really has. So I hope you really enjoyed that. And as I said to you um, in the community page, that I'm doing a video every other week now. Um, every week's just a bit too much, really. And the, the pressure's always on to, to get out and deliver. Weather's not always that good. Um, and it's not always that easy, but I feel as if I can put more quality into an every other week video um, than I can if I do one every week. And also I'll be throwing a few reviews in there as well. But um, thanks indeed for watching today. If you could leave us a like and a comment, it's always much appreciated, even if it's just a thumbs up, anything will do. It's really, really good for that algorithm thing. And if you don't um, currently subscribe to the channel and you fancy giving the channel a go, please click um, that subscribe button, click that bell, most importantly, to be notified of any new videos coming out. And um, yeah, welcome to the channel if you do. Um, lots more coming from me. I think I'll uh, call it a day now from uh, my local park and head home for a nice cuppa. As always, thanks very much indeed for watching. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>